the double team element of um of the double team functionality of this game this little game here it's uh it's, it's absolutely absurd and ridiculous how uh there they kind of force you into doing something or they lock you in place once a double team is called and many times the double team doesn't have to even be there right and they're they're forcing you into a, a into doing a certain thing like like a lot of times you can't even run from it. Like in this instance, I know that the double team is coming and it's not even there yet. And I try to go the opposite direction and for no uh, reason whatsoever, I'm forced to drop the ball. And if you pay attention, when I try to jet left, boom, it's like uh, I was forced to stop. Like I could not I could not move any further. All right. And that, that's actually that's just pitiful. It doesn't it's not logical whatsoever. It has nothing to do with real uh, basketball. This does not happen in real life. It's it's completely theatrical, generic, and narrative driven. It's narrative based. This is not realistic. This doesn't happen, All right? If a double team is called, you're not stuck in one spot. But they they're trying to force uh, certain things to happen in this game, and it's just it's just way too forced. They don't allow things to just play out naturally. All right. And that's a big, a major issue with 2K. The, uh, the AI function of this game is just, it's over the top. It's way over the top. They, 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 they allow the AI to have too much authority over the game, over certain aspects, over certain aspects and elements of the game that it's really supposed to just leave the hell alone. All right, now I understand you're trying to insinuate or you're trying to, um, you're trying to, what's the word I'm looking for? You're trying to show the impact of a double team by forcing this to happen. All right, but it's so generic and it's, it's just, it's so, it's, you could do it in a better way. You could do it far better than that. And I notice a lot of times if you call it a double team on computer, they don't force the computer to, do these ridiculous passing animations where they fuck around and get a turnover. They don't force computer into doing illogical shit like this right here. All right, I'm turning. I'm trying to. I'm trying to go the other way, and I lose the ball for no reason whatsoever. There's no reason I should have lost this ball. And if you pay attention once again, you pay attention when I'm trying to go this direction. You can see when I start to move, it's like I'm forced to stop. It's like I hit an invisible barrier. That invisible barrier shit that I always talk about with this damn game, where you're you're it's like you're locked into place, because the AI has its own narrative. All right, you're not just allowed to to really just freelance and do your thing and really just play this game. You're not really allowed to just play this game. All right. All right, because it has its own. The AI has its has its own. It's like it's like it has a, a omnipresent control over the game. It controls what it's not supposed to have control over. All right, I'm going this direction. The AI is not supposed to force me to drop the ball, and then not only that, force me to stop moving the direction I'm trying to go. All right, they really fucked this up. At the core of it, it's a great game, and that's why uh, I still play it. And that's why a lot of people still play it that complain about it. Because at the core, it's a pretty damn decent game. But all the layers of it, on top of that, all of the other the other aspects of the game is like, is 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 is. I mean, man, it really fucks up the experience to be forced into playing a certain way because the AI has a certain narrative. It's just absolutely ridiculous, man. But anyway, peace.